Happy Friday. It's been some time since I've painted live, and I thought I'd use these new colors from KMS. They looked perfect for some golden florals. So I'm going to use them, and I'm going to paint small today. So this is a Princeton 2. And I think I'm going to start with the gold florals. I'll do a mix of the two golds. This is End of the Rainbow. Do some quick little strokes. And then I'll use either Clover or Shamrock Shake. Get some greenery in there. Making the, the florals bigger on the bottom. Okay. Thank you, Uni. Uh, they are quite short for me, if you know my channel. So I went with something really simple. So I'm headed for Clover. Tish, it's been too long. I hope you're well. I'm a little out of practice with my flowers. But look at that shine. So pretty. So I'm going to do a few of these. Oh, Tish. Best wishes to your husband for his recovery. He's lucky to have you, that's for sure. Okay, pot of gold. I think I'm going to do something very similar, but just a tiny bit different for interest. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm really loving these colors together. Very spring. And let's get maybe this gold to bleed in. Yeah. Okay. Time to add some greenery here. Um, might as well use the other green, Shamrock Shake, just to see the difference. Ooh, Tish, I really like a textured paper. The more texture, the better for me sometimes. I know it makes your florals a little bit less controlled. But that's how I prefer my flowers to be.
Erin. <laughs> Was I just looking at your earrings that you were posting on your stories? Yes, so it's amazing to see you here. <laughs> Add just some extra greenery in here. I'm really not used to using such a small brush. Thank you. I figured I haven't been live in quite a quite a while so best to start slow <laughs> thank you tish so i want to add some greenery here a little in in here that was not intentional, but that's exactly where I wanted it to go. Finish this one off. <laughs> now I'm getting back into the swing of things. I have been creating, I just haven't been painting live. Hiker girl, you have your stuff to start. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Tell us, what do you have? What did you get? Okay, I'm gonna do uh, another one, but shamrock shake, just so that's not the only time I use that color. And I'll put it over here. Maybe make a little gold, gold vase, something like that. watercolor pencils. I I have watercolor pencils. I I really don't use them. Um, I like my watercolors. I do have watercolor ink that I like. Um, I don't use that too often either, but once in a while when I just want to paint very quickly, kind of loose and without thinking that's when I'd use my watercolor inks my favorite paper is always bow hung paper their textured cold press is my absolute favorite and I do use Princeton brushes What do you like using the watercolor pencils for, Tish? Do you like starting a painting with them? Do you like adding detail with them after you're done? Oh, hiker girl, thank you, but you, you haven't seen all of the years of practice that went into doing this before I painted live, right? So never compare. I think I need a little gold pot, you know? It goes with all the, the cute names in here. So let's, let's see, let's do a quick little vase. I like this gold a little bit more just because it's a bit deeper. Kind of giving myself a little quick sketch.
Okay, I think that is pretty much it for today's live. I do hope that I will be back to painting a little bit more regularly. There we go. Just a cute little lucky plant for us today. I think it would also look really cute with a little bit of ink for the floral, so that might be what I do when I hop off this live. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you enjoy your weekend if I don't see you again. <laughs> Big hugs to you, Erin. Thank you so much. Bye, Tish. See you again real soon.